Well, good day, tubes. Welcome to computer cleanout and uh, hard drive installation day. I've got one of those uh, little stick hard drive things. I'm sure there's a proper word for it. I can't remember it right now, though. But one of them little stick hard drives to uh, install into this thing. This is my uh, gaming rig here. So I'm just using normal, regular compressor. I know a lot of you are going to hate that. But that's all I got. So, anyways, it's probably pretty dirty in here. Holy smoke. I think it's been a while. Normally I pull my card right out, but I don't think I'm gonna today. here now a bit of dirt I'll let that build up a minute graphics card. It's getting older now, but freaking expensive when I bought it. Holy smoke. 1500 bucks, I think it was in. The GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. 32 gig of RAM. Um, oh, i7 4790 or 70 or something like that. CPU, something around there. Solid state drives. One there, and where the heck did my other one go? It's in there somewhere. This one I didn't actually even get secured in. Oh yeah, it's right underneath here. I didn't get him secured in. Uh, should I guess? Probably could just screw it right to. Uh, I get one screw in it, anyways. But uh, give her one more blow here. Good rig. It does, of course, run uh, Microsoft Flight Sim pretty good, but it's not at its full spec. You need a lot better one of them, which they do have out now, of course. But uh, this RAM all lights up and everything. It's kind of kind of goofy. I don't even hardly look at it. But anyways, so I got to find a screw. Hurry up, compressor. I gotta find a screw for this little hard drive to uh, mount into here. I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of screws downstairs, so we'll take this back inside and then uh, see what we can find. Okay, so this thing has to mount right into this little socket here, and then there's three different screws. Uh, let's get you in there a bit closer. So that's a little socket there, and the three different screws is where I guess the length of the stick. And I'm pretty sure this board only has one of those. Sometimes they have multiples. But that's um, for a little hard drive stick. Let's show you that. All right, so that's M there. M2 MVME 2280S SD, solid state drive. Two terabyte, not huge, but it's, you know, give me a little extra roomage. Oh, that's it there, little wee guy. And it's got to only fit one way. You see, there's like a slot in the uh, chip ends there. So, but this is a super, super tiny screw. And I've got some screws left over. And I think, I think these are all, all big, too big. These are like hard drive screws and stuff. And then there's one of the studs for a, 
mounting a motherboard. I think those are too big. This thing's tiny, 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 tiny little screw. And those are definitely too big. I gotta look for one, two. Actually, there's actually one in this package, I think. One of the ones that have like the little sort of a washer on it. That one right there. I think we'll fit the solid state drive. I'd like to get it kind of screwed in with at least one screw. I should get a proper carousel thing for it, but there's no moving parts in a solid state drive, which is nice, so you don't really need to worry about it a whole lot, but we'll do that after here, maybe. Got another bunch of parts and screws here too. And they all look like they're the same still. And there's a small one though. No, that's still too big. Whew. Holy mother, I might not have a screw for this little thing. They kind of spring in too, right? And that's a case screw for the back. No, nothing in that one. And got some of these old things too from cards that I've had in. Holy mother, there's a whole bunch of loose screws under there too. There's some... I used to hold the motherboards down with just these little thumb drive pin thingies. Those are definitely too big. Although, no. Still too big. Holy smokes. Uh oh. <laughs> you know what I might have to do is look on my other motherboard, the old motherboard. These are way too big too. I'll show you how small the screw is. That's how big that screw is compared to the one we need. Holy smokes, that is tiny. Super tiny. So, I'll have to keep digging in my bucket of junk here, I guess. Well, there's a little pack of, oh, they look like hard drive or uh, case screws. I'm willing to bet that my, and there's a, no. That's too big still, believe it or not. Willing to bet. There might be one in my other. Holy smokes, there are some small ones in there. That might be one right there, actually. Uh, I'm going to have to get a pair of needles out to pick it up. Oh, I lost them. Surgical precision. That might be him. Holy smokes, that's small. Now, that's actually too small of a screw head. That's not going to work because it will never fit in there. So I'm going to have to try to find something that size of screw that's a little bigger. Well, let's dump this out of here. We'll take some of this big stuff out first. Who knows what's in your Allen keys? It's been just a miscellaneous little junk drawer thingy I made here. Junk, junk cabinet thingy, whatever you call this. Even a little rock in here. <laughs> Stuff I guess I found somewhere. Big ball bearing. That actually might work in the. No, it's too too small. Uh, another little small ball bearing with some kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, start eliminating some of this first. Some springs, those look like clutch springs from a weed whacker or something. Another ball bearing. Okay. Well, there's even some little jumpers from the day. Remember these things? You'd put that to make it do one thing for like a hard drive or something. Even kept those. Don't want a want a flat-headed screw. Ooh, what's this one? Geez, I think that's still too big, but I'll hold it off to the side. Get some of this stuff. Even a little e-clip. That's too small. That'd be. There's a tiny little one there, but it's probably way too long. That one's tiny, tiny, but the head's too small. Yeah, that one's 
ones, two small, I think two. They don't give you screws with a little hard drive, which sucks. You're just some bigger stuff. And a tiny little ball bearing from something. Oh, get in there. A little connector for something. A little mini spring for something. That one's probably close, but I think it's still too small of the head. Boy, I might not be able to get this thing installed here today. Hmm. Find a specific screw just for that. There's a bigger head one there, but I think the screw's too big. Keep that off to the side too, maybe. smokes. My fingers don't work this small anymore. Uh. There's a small one there with a bigger head. This one might work. I'll leave that one off to the side too maybe. Small one there with a little washer. I think it's still too small. Gotta have a fairly flat, like something like this size, but with the smaller threads. Why do they put these tiny little threads on here? I don't know. Another jumper. There's another tiny one there. It's still too small. Hmm. So you need one like this to be perfect, but that screw's too big. Those things are tiny. Hmm. Don't know what that one looks like an orange peel. <laughs> Who knows? Another bigger E clip. Well that's from, I don't know. There's a looks like a case screw for the back of the case. Holds the covers on. Not the out of place one. <laughs> Big one. Lock and ring. Well, there's a little washer thing. I could maybe put that on to the screw. I'm going to check another old motherboard I got here maybe. But yeah, I think these ones I picked here were too big. I think it's this size of screw, this little wee tiny one here. Boy, I wish I had a little more. I guess we could try to put this on. That might help. And I think, oh, look at the size of this spring. Holy smokes, what the heck would that have been from? Super tiny. <laughs> Well, that's the end of that, I guess. So I think we're going to go maybe try this one. We'll see if that one will thread in there. There's one of my old motherboards. And it's got some screws on it. Um, it's an MSI board holding all these chips on. There's some tiny screws there with big heads. Let's see if one of them will come out. If one of those will come out. Which one are we working on here? I guess... Whatever that is, let's pop this one in here maybe. That looks like it's almost got a big enough head if it's a tiny little screw. Oh hey now. Oh hey now, look at this. Tiny little screw with a nice big head of the washer on it. Oh hey now. Let's see. I Ugh. can't even feel it, it's so small. Oh, hey, that's screwing in. I think we might have it. Yeah. Ooh, boys. We might have one. Stolen screw. Okay. Don't lose that one. I got a few extras, I guess, there.
So this thing, I've never installed one of these. PCI Express. It's supposed to be like wicked transfer rate on these. Like 2500 mega second or something like that. And yes, I'm not grounded. <laughs> Alright, my eyes are terrible. Ooh, pretty simple. Now if I can get the screw to go in. It'll stay on the end of the thing. I don't believe we gotta... I think that's it. Push it in. I like that little rubber on the end of that screw. That's a good idea. There we go. Holy smokes. I can't believe that worked. Let's uh, get a zoom in on that. I just realized the camera wasn't in a good spot there, but anyways, I think you guys seen what was happening. So we got her installed. That little screw actually looks like it's pretty much was made for that. We can focus on that. So that's in. Wham bam. All right. Well, normally what I would do is record the um, setting that up but you have to basically go in your window setting and initialize that thing kind of thing where we go but uh, my desktop doesn't record anymore it doesn't look like it's sitting quite right my desktop isn't recording anymore and I don't know why because of the shadow play or something but anyways uh, we also gotta try to mount that hard drive in there too okay whether I want to go, yeah, this is definitely not set up for uh, these little hard drives. Sure, now you magnetize to it. I don't know whether I, why I never did this one before, but. She's mounted now, as best I can get. A little bit of messy cables in there. They're a little bit longer than I need, but uh, anyways, they're in. Just don't look at your cables. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, well, if you saw this video today, I guess everything worked. And uh, it seemed to all go together pretty good once I found the right screw, but holy smokes, that was a small screw. So, 750 watt power supply too. It seems pretty good. Seems to power everything I need. And, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the gaming rig. Anyway, he's got a CD drive in it still, which I never use. Ever, never use that. I haven't used CDs, DVDs, or anything forever. Used to uh, one time burn all kinds of stuff, you know, and making DVDs and copying this and, you know, whatever I was doing with it. And, and I got a bunch on my shelf there, but I just never use anything like that anymore. <laughs> So anyways, that is it for today. Thanks again for watching. That's the game and rig anyways. I know some of you have been curious about it. And uh, I will put up the specs in the description of this actual thing. So, But uh, yes, that is it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day.